All right, how you guys doing? It is Stephanie, aka Edini Has to Stop Akpa, aka Tent Tarot. And as you see, I am in my element today, outside in the earth, out in nature, coming to bring you guys a message for today, a daily message. What do you need to know for your highest good on today? What areas? your life that you need to work on and now we are um, reading for the sign of Gemini so I saw I think I saw the fool card here I'm seeing the wheel of fortune I'm seeing the star card you guys have some major major things going on some major spiritual um, happenings Ascensions and all that going on. We got the Five of Swords, but maybe you are doubting that. Doubting your power. Don't doubt your power, Gemini. <laughs> Queen of Swords. Five of Swords and the Queen of Swords. Nine of Coins. Alarm. It's time to wake up, Gemini. Got the alarm going off. It's time to wake up to your power. You bullshitting. Oh, I'm sorry, y'all. Page of Ones. You're stronger than you think. You, you're more aware and conscious than you give yourself credit for. It's time for you to get comfortable in your own skin with the King of Wands here. You got the Page of Wands. But you got the king here. We got the palace of coins, which is, you know, home. Which you hold valuable, you know, being comfortable in your own skin. And, you know, getting rid of, to overcome this anxiety and all of these, these negative thoughts that you had. Confidence, being confident in yourself, being comfortable in your own skin so that you can cut out with this the queen of swords cut out the bullshit you know five of swords as well you know cutting out this negative internal talk by being confident in yourself and knowing your power spirit got you spirit has your bag man told y'all all those cards that kind of was coming out while i was shuffling let's see if i can just get two cards spirit can you just give me two cards here for Gemini. Oh, sh huh. And exactly two cards. Three of Swords and the World card. Bottom of the deck, the Devil. What illusions and or fears are you allowing to keep you from ending this cycle you're going through the same shit over and over because you refuse to cut out this negative thinking you refuse to cut it out Cut out this this negative thinking the five of swords and get to the I mean and the three of swords could be you know getting to the heart of the matter and the heart of the matter is 
you are the shit. You are more self-aware and more conscious than you give yourself credit for. Move forward with your message of passion. Move forward in, in passion. Move forward in confidence. You know. Like I said, we have uh, the world card. Sorry about the noise. The world card. The ending of a cycle. And, you know, so it, it may be new to you. You believing in yourself and knowing who you are may be, you know, new to you. But explore it with all that you have, with all of your power. So you can overcome the fear and illusion with this new information that you have gotten. That you are the shit. So don't allow. Take those knives out your back. Take the knives out your back. <laughs> you know, maybe some a relationship has you feeling this way. You know, maybe this. You know, got the the heartbreak. Getting to the heart of the matter. Maybe a relationship that you were in. Someone you know did a whole bunch of just downing you or something. It's time for you to cut that person out. Cut that motherfucker out your life and realize your power. Realize how great you are. It's time to do the work. It's time to do the work and loving yourself. I mean, this could be, you know, lover's card for someone else, but it also could be you working on yourself and, and you know, getting into a, a more intimate relationship with your higher self. A more intimate relationship with your higher self doing the work so that you can overcome the self-deception. You know, the seven of swords could be self-deception. It could be strategy. Your strategy moving forward is to love yourself. It's to love yourself and celebrate how great you are. Celebrate this new opportunity to love yourself. To work on yourself. Next card. Look at that, the star card. Hope and guidance. Six of swords, moving on from the drama. Move, step away from the drama and do the work. Eight of coins, it is your destiny. And then once you do that, you can sit back and watch your ships come in. Because you will achieve a balance like never before. A stability, a groundedness. You have the Midas touch. So move forward in confidence. Okay, now what was with the, or was this one? It's with the uh, page of wands. Let's get you a postcard from Spirit. Spirit, what do you have to say to Gemini? Spirit, what do you have to say to Gemini? trying to say all that to Gemini. I'm going to put that to the side just in case. Because that, that was the card that just came out for the last sign. I don't know if that was meant for you. Let's see if we can get one specifically to just jump out. Can you give me a jumper? Can you give me a jumper? I like jumpers. You know I like jumpers, Spirit. You know I like jumpers. Give me, give me a jumper. I think these are more meant for you, Gemini. 
It says, you must be so exhausted some days, giving as much as you do, sharing your energy so beautifully in service to the highest good, can leave you feeling depleted, like an empty well, especially when people don't appreciate it. Cut them out. <laughs> if it feels as if there is no more water for you, the good news is we have a plan today. We have a plan. Today, go take a relaxing bath, book a massage, read a novel, buy yourself flowers, or plant some in your garden. Take time for self-care. Not more work on yourself, but loving yourself. By tending to yourself now, you are reminded you are reminded to do so more often. And be sure to use a word that might have caused you anxiety in the past but is essential for your well-being now no <laughs> could I cut that shit out and say no say it with this no thank you no I can't you do not have to explain just say no gently but firmly then go for a soak Life will wait for you to bring yourself back to center, replenished and ready for more adventure. I'll read this next one. It says, there is only one you and you have a unique place in the universe. Sometimes situations come up that challenge you to be authentic. That challenges you, challenges you to be authentic. And that means you have to fully be yourself and let go of being what you think others may want. Now is not the time to confirm to other people's standards, to conform to other people's standards or expectations. Be proud of who you are and be courageous. Stand tall in your convictions. Being yourself is powerful. Is a, being yourself is a powerful statement that will only lead you to success and ultimately happiness don't compare yourself to other people don't compare yourself to other people want what you have choose what your heart wants and know that your purpose is yours alone no one else can claim your magic nor take it away when you place authenticity authenticity and originality high on your list of priorities and give them prominent place in your awareness extraordinary things can happen your life is a beautiful one love you always and forever all right gemini all right all right all right you're gonna learn today you're gonna learn to love yourself today <laughs> i hope anyway all right gemini hope that helps you hope you are able to get some um, good information from that and i will see you guys next time around <laughs>